all right guys welcome to my channel this is Eric Valderrama so uh, today we're gonna be practicing how to fry bluefish uh, I caught these last night on the pier uh, these are bluefish right here I'm gonna go ahead and flip the camera over right, so those are bluefish all right, and all we're gonna do guys is just you know we got some oil there maybe about half an inch of oil I'm gonna go ahead and turn the gas on all right, just bear with me while I do that. And so the gas is on right there. Got the gas open, and we're going to go ahead and crank this guy up. Let's see here. Make sure we got gas in there. We might be out of gas in there. No, we're not. And there it is. We're going to just put it up to high. All right, we're gonna go ahead and turn that on. I'm gonna crank it up, put it up to high. And uh, basically the way I seasoned it, guys, I just put a uh, complete seasoning, sea salt and pepper. That's pretty much it on both sides. Complete seasoning, sea salt and pepper. I always recommend if you're gonna fry fish, do it outside. Don't do it inside your house. This is gonna stink up your house. All right, and then this is the side of my house. My little back patio here. Yes, I do catch some massive, massive bass. All right, I'm gonna just wait for that to get the temperature, guys. You know, I kind of just eyeball it. You know, I kind of know when it gets the temp. You know, you start seeing the little crackles on the bottom. You see the little crackles, the little bubbles on the bottom there. You even kind of hear it. You see, so little by little, it's going to get to the right temperature. You want it hot. So you're starting to hear crackle like that. We're almost there. Then something I do, I just take a little bit of the seasoning here. All right, take a little bit of the seasoning right there on my finger. Just like that. All right, I'm going to just toss it in there. Then when that floats up, that's when you know you're ready. You see that little little piece right there? It sunk to the bottom. Once that floats up a little bit, that's when you know it's ready. And find a fish, guys, it doesn't take real long. Yeah, there's a little ducky. Hey, little ducky. Oh, and that's Bea barking. All right, you see how it's floating up to the top right there? You see how it just floated up to the top? I think we're ready. Go ahead and toss these guys in there. And I think we're ready. I'm going to put that guy like that. I'm going to put this guy on the opposite direction. So we got both of those guys in there. Just flying up. That'll take a couple of minutes. My wife and mother-in-law, they like their fish well done. They like it really crispy, so we're going to make it really crispy for them. Okay, it's not fine right there. I want to introduce you guys real quick to somebody. I don't know if you could see this guy right here, but that is Beast right there. Can you guys see Beast? Beast is uh, the iguana. Big old iguana. You guys see Beast? Hey Beast. Oh, Beast is looking right back at you guys. <laughs> and this is my backyard. Little deck back here. 
Right now it's kind of messy. Family plays dominoes there. A little chill area. And yes, it's all about the U. A little patio here, back of my house. Other side. So the lake kind of goes around the house. And basically grew up swimming in this lake and everything like that. So we're just gonna give those guys a few more minutes. Get a few more minutes on that side. So now, real quick, guys, while I have you here, uh, just want to thank you for joining me on my YouTube channel. Um, pretty much uh, decided to develop this channel uh, to be entrepreneur um, and have an entrepreneur mindset, and basically just do this as a way to supplement my income. Uh, work in the corporate field so you're never going to get anywhere working in the corporate field you're just going to be on a treadmill the whole time so to get some traction I'm doing this YouTube channel and uh, I want to thank you guys for being a part of it with me uh, I'm going to share my life with you guys and then uh, I'm hoping you guys appreciate me for it so uh, if you can't just go ahead and hit subscribe if you like the video hit like all right and then uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, show you guys the finishing product for this fish and then I'll give you guys a little more content as far as how I caught them and the rigs I use and uh, just the style of fishing that I use and stuff like that. So uh, slowly but surely, I'll let you guys into my life, okay? So go ahead and I'll put you guys back on the frying fish. <clears throat> Smells great. So what you're going to do is you're going to start seeing some color on the fish. Once you start seeing a little bit of color on the fish, it's ready to flip. I don't know if you guys can tell it's starting to get kind of brown right here. That's when you start to know. So once you see that smoke coming out like that, that's when you start to know. It's ready to flip. Like I said, my wife and my mother-in-law, they like this fish well done. So I'll give it another minute or so. Just give a little lift, make sure that it's not stuck. It'll lift like that, make sure it's not stuck on the bottom. It'll lift like that. Oh, you see, got a little piece of skin here came off. That's a little stuff there. Keep the fish coming off here. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and just give this guy a little lift, make sure he's not stuck on the bottom. Got a little piece that came off right here. That's fine. Take it out.
Right, so now you see that it's got a nice brown color on the side there. Very nice and toasty. I'm gonna go ahead and flip these guys over. So I'm just gonna flip them over, just doing a nice little little flip, just like that. Here. Give us a nice little flip, just like that. We do a little bit of basting. Let's let that fly up right there. That'll take just a few more minutes. So right now guys, you just gotta be patient. Let the fish do its thing inside its nice beautiful oil bath. And uh, just let it fry up. It'll tell you when it's ready. It'll say, take me out, I'm done. I'm done. It's still not ready though. I'm gonna let that guy fry up nice and get nice and crispy. We're gonna start popping, guys, and crackling. I said she's really starting to get crispy now. Well, it is, guys. The first is kind of like a pre pre flip, as you could tell. It still probably needs a little bit more on this side. So I'm going to have to flip it back over, but I'm going to let it finish on the other side first. So I'm going to let it really crisp up on the other side. Normally now, right now, you could take this fish out and it would be fine. But it should take only about 15 minutes. Uh, so right now, you could take this fish out and it's done. But um, my wife and my mother-in-law, they really like it crispy. So I'm going to just let that fry a little longer and let it crisp up. I want that skin there to come off. This looks great. Hey, mate. It's a rout. I know you. 
What's that? All right, so real quick, guys. My dad is at the front door. My dad's at the front door. Just want to go ahead and open it up. Give me a second. But this also shows that you can walk away from your fish. Uh, it's all it's all about how you like it fried when you're frying fish. So it's not a big deal. Hola. It's my papa. Yeah. Hola. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, it smells great out here. So I love the smell of fried fish. Man, this smells fantastic. Alright, back to the fish. Woo! We're almost there, baby. We're almost there. that finish up on that side and we're gonna give it a nice little flip I'm just gonna give it a little lift from the bottom and it also lets that oil get under and cook any spots that it's missed. Alright, and we're gonna go the same way this way. Alright. Give it a little lift like that, make sure it doesn't stick. Same thing here. Nice and easy. You don't want to just flip it over guys because if you just flip it over it might be stuck and you might lose a lot of meat to the pan. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and flip this guy over. This guy was a little smaller. And like I said, I'm just going to finish him up one more time. Woo, look at that guy. Give this guy one more flip. Woo! Oh yeah. And like I said, if they were done a little bit ago. It only takes 10, 15 minutes. But my mother-in-law and my wife that nice and crispy. Even though it's nice and crispy and brown and brown on the outside, guys. So even though it's nice and brown and crispy on the outside, guys, it'll still be beautifully white and flaky on the inside. All right, so don't let the outside fool you. It'll still be beautifully sealed inside, beautiful white meat inside. And that, with some lime, is going to be off the chain. Wow. And it's pretty much done. I'm gonna go ahead and take these guys out. 
when you're taking your fish out, guys, the first, especially whenever you're cooking with gas, folks, what you want to do when you're cooking with gas is you want to turn off your little pilot there. Boom. You want to turn that off. And then you want to go ahead, since I'm already done, I want to make sure I close this gas. All right, so now I could pretty much continue my day, and I know I've already closed that, and I've already turned this off. Everything else on the grill is off, so we're safe there. No hazards. I'm going to go ahead and just give this guy a little nudge here. Always give him a little nudge up, make sure that it's not stuck. Always give him a little nudge up. All right, let's go ahead and grab him. Beautiful fried bluefish. Fresh, caught these guys last night, had them on ice all night. And we are done. Oh, oh, not smart, not smart, not smart. And we are done. Alright, so now we're just gonna come hit finish these guys off with a little bit of lemon. And we are finished. Right, just bear with me here so we can finish these guys off with a little bit of lemon. And I'm Cuban, so for Cubans, we really use lime. We, really, we don't use lemon, we use lime, which we call limon. So kind of the same thing, believe it or not. But just put that guy down. Okay. If there is any, Alright, so I don't think there is any lemon, which is fine. So this guy, I'm gonna give him a little taste test. Let's give him a little taste test here. Ooh, this guy right here. Let's let's hit this guy up. I don't have any lime or lemon today, but that is no problem. I'm gonna go ahead and just open this guy up right here. You hear that? Oh my god, look at that guy. Look at that guy. And what I like about blue, bluefish is if you give it a nice hard fry. Everything is edible. Look at that. Beautiful piece of fried fish. Beautiful. And then, this is me eating it. <laughs> it's a little hot. So it just came off, but it's delicious. Mm, a little bone there, no problem. Mm. Like I said, a little bit of lemon would be perfect, but with just the complete season, no bone. So it looks like I got the piece with all the bones in it, but just with the complete seasoning, it's delicious. You don't need anything. A little complete seasoning, salt, pepper, and you fry up, and you're good. So thank you for watching. Thank you for sharing with me. I'm going to go ahead and eat my little piece of fish. Leave the rest for my wife and my mother-in-law. Thank you all for sharing with us. Have a great day.